People with schizophrenia are much more likely to be a victim of violence than they are to perpetrate violence. Hi, I'm Dr. Abigail Donovan, Director of Clinical Services at the Psychosis Clinical and Research Program at Mass General Hospital. And these are your most commonly asked questions about schizophrenia. What are some of the causes of schizophrenia? We do know that the development of schizophrenia is influenced by both genetic factors and environmental factors. Genetics accounts for anywhere between 60 to 80% of the risk for developing schizophrenia. And the remainder of the risk is due to environmental factors, things like birth complications, childhood adversity, trauma, bullying, even immigration. What are some of the symptoms of schizophrenia? When we think about the symptoms of schizophrenia, we can divide them into three categories. Positive symptoms, negative symptoms, and cognitive symptoms. So positive symptoms are an addition to everyday experiences. People may hear voices that other people aren't hearing. They may get special signals or signs from the environment like hearing a song on the radio and believing that it has a message meant just for them. Next are the negative symptoms. These symptoms are a withdrawal from everyday experiences, like a lack of speech, so talking less or using fewer words. And the third category is cognitive symptoms. People with schizophrenia experience a decline in their cognition. They don't process information as quickly or as efficiently as they did before the illness. Are my chances of getting schizophrenia higher if someone in my family has it? If it's a first degree relative, like your mother, your father, or a sibling, then your chances of developing schizophrenia are a little bit higher compared to the general population. But it's not definite. It's not a given that you will absolutely develop schizophrenia. And there are things that you can do to decrease your risk. Can I prevent getting schizophrenia? At this moment, we don't have a surefire way to prevent schizophrenia. There are other things that you can do to decrease your vulnerability. Number one on my list is to avoid marijuana. We know on a pop population level that adolescents who are heavy users of marijuana are at increased risk for developing schizophrenia. Second on my list is to avoid the use of all drugs and hazardous use of alcohol. Third, if you develop another psychiatric illness like depression or anxiety, it's really important to engage in robust and comprehensive treatment, including therapy and medication if indicated. You wanna keep your emotional health and your physical health at the highest levels possible. Are people with schizophrenia violent? This is one of the biggest myths about schizophrenia and it could not be more false. People with schizophrenia are vulnerable. They get the short stick a lot of the time in this world. People with schizophrenia are much more likely to be a victim of violence than they are to perpetrate violence. The the reality is that schizophrenia exists on a spectrum. And so yes, some people have a very severe form of the illness, but that's not everyone. And there are some people who with treatment will do well and function and live meaningful lives and fulfill some of those hopes and dreams. And that is something we can hold on to. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Abigail Donovan. Click here for another video on schizophrenia. And don't forget to subscribe here for more videos from Mass General Brigham.